A cool pair of sunglasses can serve as a fashion statement, but their main purpose is to block out UV rays, which can lead to eye problems. Yet most people forget to keep their sunglasses on them at all times. I recently talked with Dr. Lisa Colas Young with Eyesight in Sioux Falls, and she says sunglasses should be a permanent accessory, just like your wallet, keys, and cell phone. And it doesn't hurt that they can make you look more trendy, too. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for having us out here to Eyesight. Wonderful. Nice to have you here, Brittany. Glad to, glad to do this. So sunglass fashion is something that everyone really participates in because we have to you know, protect our eyes from the sun and it's hard to see in the sun, but I just want to first start off by talking about the different styles and what we're seeing as far as trends go for people that are interested in keeping up or maybe need a new pair. Absolutely. I mean, the trends kind of vary from, from time to time, as we know, just like you might have had leg warmers back in the 80s yeah. and big permed hair, um, you're going to have differences in styles of sunglasses. And a lot of times they can kind of vary back and forth and kind of come back to where we've had, where we've had in the past and then coming uh, back into style again a lot of the times what we're watching for for people is going to be in regards to whether or not they want kind of an elegant look that's timeless and so they have a little larger frame that kind of gives them full coverage and things like that but then you also have your fun styles and a lot of people right now are really looking for a little bit of fun they want to get out right now especially after all of this COVID they want to be out and having a little fun in the sun and so they're they're kind of going that a little bit little bit of that direction but it's nice to be able to to have either option so explain the different styles that we are seeing just to kind of give us more of a perspective right so you're gonna have different styles as you can kind of see um, you can have this one's more of a safety or protective type lens that wraps around for like motorcycle riders and things like that those are Wiley X's same thing for this but a little bit more stylish um, just gives that nice wraparound effect for protecting against wind and dust and things like that this is more of our classic kind of aviator style um, and something like this also very more classic aviator style and those have been around for a long time I mean I think the movie Top Gun probably um, really launched those into into yeah. popularity a lot of the round ones a lot of people are kind of getting um, a lot of Elton John look is what I call mm -hmm. it you know so you get the circles or you get those bright colors um, the uh, more of the rectangle space are always classic but the round ones especially if you see like in here those round ones are popular and a lot of people are really loving to have something just like I said a little bit different yeah so as far as the actual lens goes the different colors I mean what really options do you have for that I'm seeing some that look more like that chrome look Right. So you'll see the different colors in the sunglasses. Sometimes they are put in in order to um, just match the sun, the frame itself. But if you notice a brown lens versus like a darker, a darker lens versus a gray or a, or a more of a black lens, the brown lens tends to be really good in low light conditions. And you'll kind of see that, especially in some of those higher level sunglasses like Maui Gems and um, Oakleys, those kind of things. You'll see those different colors because they will help you with low light. If you get these uh, darker lenses, those are going to be more for nice bright sunlight. And so you'll notice that there's different variations. Sometimes they have the, the mirror coating where it's a more of a reflection and those mirror coatings are really helpful for just sun that's coming in to kind of kind of block it a little bit more so so many to choose from so, so many, many different options, options. Mm -hmm. might as well just get one of every so you have it all but <laughs> a let's talk a little, bit, a little bit more about the protection aspect of it absolutely so when it comes to polarized versus non-polarized what really does that offer you okay so when you have a polarized lens and you'll notice it sometimes if you turn your sunglasses one direction or the other or sometimes if you're looking at your radio station you kind of notice that I can't read that right now depending on the angle of your head um, that's because that polarization takes out certain levels of glare so so along certain lines, uh, basically what it does. It helps like, for example, with fishermen, if they're trying to look through the water, they're gonna see a little bit th more through the water into, those, into where those fish are, are at because that polarized takes that glare on certain lines. And so um, a lot of lenses can be polarized and it's much more helpful as far as the comfort of the eyes are concerned. It just makes things a little bit more bright and sharp and, and uh, gives them just a nice, crisp image and so that's the nice part about polarized lenses. So as far as protecting the eyes does polarized make 
a difference in that too? You know, Polarize is not necessarily so much on the protection side of things. It's more of a comfort issue. In general, most sunglasses are going to give you a very good UV protection, and that's what we're looking for as far as sunglass protection is concerned in general, is we need to have that UV protection just as much as you would put sunscreen on. You'd want to have sunglasses on to protect those eyes. It protects against cataract formation. It protects against some, some a little towards macular degeneration as well. You're also protecting your skin around the eyes and things like that from different cancers that might develop um, both on the eyelids themselves and around the eyes and then also inside the eye. As we know that UV light can, if, if it's too strong and too much, it's going to be difficult to, to try and combat that. And that's why you see with the tanning beds why we have to wear those little goggles as well. So. so really it's important to have a good pair of sunglasses all year, mm -hmm. even in the winter months when a lot of people might not think of this as being something important. Absolutely. I mean, the winter time is almost as important, if not more important, in regards to the snow reflecting up, especially when you're driving along, you have that snow reflects back, sit back at you. Not only do you have the overhead, but you have that snow coming back for skiers or for those who are out, even just snow blowing your yard or anything along those lines. It makes a big difference to make things comfortable for you. And I know when I had glasses, that's mm -hmm. when I really wouldn't wear sunglasses. Right. Because how do you put them over? But there are some options. So yes. explain those briefly, quick, so that we okay. Can so hear when that. you're talking about different options as far as sunglasses are concerned, especially if you're not, for example, a contact lens wearer, a contact lens wearer, you can put a plano sunglass over top and be comfortable and be protected. But for those people who don't have uh, contact lenses, you can do either a transitions lens, which darkens when you go outside and lightens when you come in, and so that's very nice. It's all built into the same pair. Okay, I would demonstrate that here, but that you kind of need the sunlight yeah. to be able to do that. The other option is a lot of people go with these magnetic clips. So if you have a clip, um, you can uh, go ahead and put, have a regular pair of sunglasses. You can have the frame that has a clip that goes onto that so they can get your sunglasses done in that kind of a format. And then there's other people who also just prefer to have the prescription sunglasses because then you can have that polarized aspect in the prescription sunglass. For example, you can have a polarized lens in the transitions because it would be dark all the time for right. you. You can have polarized in your sun clip here because then you've got that combination together and you can absolutely put that to work for you. All right, well, lots of great options. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find myself a new pair. I, I tend to go toward more of the circular. Doing the circular. The circular look. But thank you so much for joining us here today Absolutely. and sharing a little bit about sunglass fashion and eye protectant with us. Well, we loved having you guys out. Thanks for coming out and anytime.